the typical American diet. Breakfast cereals, bread, microwave dinners and soda. Maybe not for every meal, but the way we make and eat food has evolved to fit our busy lifestyles. A little over two years ago, I set myself a challenge. Tucson, Arizona author Megan Kimball set out on a mission to eat only non-processed food for one year on an income of $16,000. And, you know, I wanted to find a way in. What can any one individual eater do to impact the food system? She wrote the book Unprocessed and recently gave us her tips on eating healthy foods without going broke. First, shop the perimeter of the grocery store. Shop fresh produce, shop fresh dairy items, you know, meat, eggs, all the things that are whole foods tend to be on the outside of the supermarket. Don't go into those interior aisles. Next, buy raw and combine at home. Often you're paying a food company or a store to do that processing for you, and so it sometimes takes a little more time and labor to do it yourself, but it's a lot cheaper. Buying a pound of dried beans costs about $2, and the same amount canned will set you back 10. Third on our list, join a community-supported agricultural program. You can often get really great deals on fresh, local, organic produce by either opting into a farm share, like a community-supported agriculture program. As a member, you receive a standard portion of the farm's products through the season without the added costs of middlemen. Eating on process is very doable, and you kind of have to make it a priority. Eating clean on a budget on the to-do list.